Let me emphasize, I'm not talking at any point of getting rid of the of today's financial system or of our conventional money system. Clearly, it needs some additional regulation and nobody is arguing with that or should be arguing about that. We need to put some constraints on it. It is not a self-regulating system. We know that much. However, it is necessary. It's a necessary ingredient. The people who are claiming the monetary reform domain, they're actually uh, several schools, or some of them claim, well, we need to go back to the gold standard. Well, I'm not against gold as a currency. I don't believe in a gold standard where that becomes a monopoly. What we need is a ecological currency, a currency of, sorry, what we need is a monetary ecology. We need diversity. We need higher diversity. You're not going to create diversity by replacing one monopoly with another monopoly, with one monoculture with another monoculture. The argument of going back to a gold standard is, all right, let's get rid of all the national currencies and have only have gold. Well, a new monoculture. Similarly, uh, there are people who more sophisticated, I would say, than just returning to the gold standard, to say, well, what we should have is government taking over the creation of currency and that the banks would only be playing the role of uh, brokers, money brokers, which most people believe actually they do. Uh, while in reality, of course, is that the banking system is the one that creates the currency. It, you know, it generates the currency through debt. Now, same problem. You're putting another driver in the driver seat of a monoculture. You say, well, the government will decide how much currency is created. It will resolve some problems. It will resolve banking crashes. It would also help getting rid of the issue of uh, uh, sovereign debt crisis. But it wouldn't get rid of monetary crisis. Uh, and the reason is that you just still have a monoculture. Put another driver in the car not another system. That's not how we create diversity. What I'm saying is, let's make the current system work as good as it can, as well as it can, uh, but let's create diversity systems that function in parallel to the existing system, that are compatible with working in parallel with it. But currency that could be created by businesses, business to business systems, like the Terra, like the Vir, like the C3 give examples that are described in the book. Uh, currencies that are created by governments, like the civic, but I would suggest that we do that at a decentralized level, more contact with more de democratic input on what that currency would be used for. Ecological activities, social purposes, interrelationship learning, whatever it is that the priority is can be fostered with such government-issued currencies, local government-issued currencies. But that gives you the diversity. The solution is not to switch from one monopoly to another monopoly, quote-unquote, a better monopoly, even if it can be argued that it's better. It's still a monoculture. That's the box we need to get out of, the box of the belief that one single currency is the solution. That's a patriarchal idea. It's 5,000 years old. Let's wake up.